Hi everyone, this is going to be a 2020 Twin Flame reading for Cancer signs. So if you are a Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign, this is going to be a reading for you. We're going to have a look into this whole Twin Flame situation, see what's coming for you, see what's going on and I really hope that you are doing well. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below as I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So I have here the Twin Flame one, the 2020 bracelet. I also have the other variation of the Twin Flame one as well. And actually it looks quite nice with my um, bangle here. So Anyways, so those are the bracelets. They are intention bracelets, which means they are meditated with. They're sage. They're also uh, handmade by me as well. They start from just £3 with free international shipping. And if you want to check out the reviews and see how they've really helped other people remove obstacles, challenges, and just really bring a lot of positive energy into their life, especially with Twin Flame connections. Um, and just, you know, there's lots of um, different bracelets on my Etsy, so different areas of your life. Do check out the reviews on my Etsy, everything will be linked down below. Okay, so we are looking at Cancer 2020. Eight of Wands. Now this is an overview for the year, so essentially you'll know if this reading proper resonates with you at the end of 2020, which I know seems like a very long time, but you're going to be able to see how things go for 2020, which is quite nice. So at the end of 2020 you're really going to feel like, you know what, this did happen. Now the Eight of Wands is about progression, so in your Twin Flame connection there is looking to be a sense of progression. Things moving forward, really great communication between you and your twin. Now if you're someone that has not found your twin, you will be finding your twin in 2020. That's something that's coming through quite strong. So if you've been um, single or you have just been sort of searching for someone, there is an opportunity here to very much so meet your twin. If you're someone that already has your twin in your life or you know who your twin flame is, this is about progression with your twin flame. It is also, right, about your twin understanding the depth of emotions and feelings that they have towards you. And so we have here the moon, which is about cycles and phases. With every full moon, their emotions towards you get stronger and stronger, deeper and deeper, much more profound. Look at that, stronger, right? Strength card. There it is. There it is. Now we have the eight of wands, and according to my calculations, the eighth month is, of course, August. And in August, well, August to September, no, hold on a second, not August to September, August to September is uh, Virgo season, we have from July to August, we have Leo season, right, and so majority of Leo season is actually present in August, which is the eighth month, so with the strength card being ruled by Leo, I really feel like August is a very profound month for you, there's a lot of progression, um, it's known to be the month where, you know, summer is beaming, I know that it's not summer everywhere in the world in August, but that's just the time of spiritual bloom and growth and just a lot happening. So we've got there the strength card, things getting stronger, things really evolving, and the sense of just things getting better and better and better as time goes by. Oh, Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands. So eight to the nine, that shows progression. Oh my gosh. You won't believe this. Look at what we have. I mean, the Nine of Wands is about wondering, contemplating, thinking. You will overthink things. It's it's very natural, especially in a situation like this, where you will be wondering what they think, um, how they're doing, if they have an interest in you, if they want to take things further with you. I mean, you are going to be thinking quite a bit throughout this, and I think it's normal to reflect on such a um, circumstance. Intuitively, I feel like putting it right here, and then I'm just going to put these other two cards like so. So your intuition is going to be very loud. <laughs> You're really, I mean, the moon is also about intuition, right? It's ruled by Pisces. Again, it's very emotional. So your twin is going to be awakening. It's 
it's it's very much so on the cards and then also you're going to be following your intuition very important to to do that and also to focus on yourself you know building up your um yourself your aura focusing on your goals hobbies dreams things that make you feel good things that really uplift you make you feel stronger uh, more excited as well so we've got a lot of this energy that is really coming through then we have of course i mean natural it's totally natural to think a lot about this particular situation so you're going to be doing a lot of reflection on this connection knight of swords here is about progression so we have here a sense of really great communication lots of flow and depth to that as well so you're going to be talking quite a lot getting to know each other um, more and more even if you've already known this person it's about really getting deep down into their soul I know that sounds really strange, right? But really getting deep down into that, you know, trying to really just suss them out, figure them out, and see what essentially is going on. Sorry, I'm just going to <laughs> move a little bit. So the Ten of Pentacles here really is about more progression. The Nine to the Ten of Pentacles. So if you're single, you're going to be with your twin flame in a relationship in 2020. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, and things are really moving forward. The Wheel of Fortune, real turns, abundance comes your way. This is about your stars aligning. This is also about the fact that it is about joy and happiness and just stability because we've got this home. We've got the archway, which shows initiation. We have this beautiful couple there as well. So there is progression here for sure. And... You're not going to be single in 2020. The eighth month is looking to be the most progressive month. One more card, one more. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. As I should say. Seven of cups. Wow. This reading has been very, very positive very, very positive. Now, of course, the, the normal sort of parts of it are essentially that you will be thinking quite a lot about, you know, every little step that they're perhaps doing. Um, at the same time, it's important for you to really focus on your own energy so that you're not too consumed by what they're always doing. I think that's quite important in a twin flame connection. The more you start to focus your energy on them, it just makes you um, be more focused on them rather than yourself. But you want to make sure that you're also focusing on yourself. That's quite important here. So we've got the Seven of Cups, right? You're going to be dreaming, thinking about them a lot. They're also going to be dreaming and thinking about you a lot as well because we've got more water energy. That water energy combined with the moon is all about your intuition. It's about your desires. It's about what you want for the future. You're really going to be thinking about a lot of that in 2020, as is your twin as well, which is why with every full moon, their feelings get stronger. And then at some point I really feel like August they express things to you you know things just come rushing towards you in terms of feelings four of pentacles this shows that they really you know want to hold on to this particular connection they don't want to let go we've got the hangman which is all about intuition and spirituality so you are going to be awakening so much more your twin is also going to be awakening and this creates a magnetic force field of things coming together it's very interesting i say that because we've got in this particular card we've got one person in red as you can see there one person in blue and i think of the red and blue i just think of you know attraction in terms of a magnet so I see that here with this card as well, you know, you've got the red, the blue, it's just the way I see things and I'm seeing attraction, real attraction here, things really coming forward for the two of you, coming forward or coming through, coming through for the two of you, coming together for the two of you, there we go, and look at that, a fresh, clean start, a sense of rejuvenation, excitement, fun, humour, adventure, the full there really showing that the new year is going to open up so much for you, for you and your twin. This is a sense of, yes, you know, the full can be a little bit immature, but it's also about taking that leap of faith, that risk at times, which can lead to some really beautiful things. And the, these ye yellow cards that we have, wow, I can't even speak today. These yellow cards just show so much warmth and positivity and joy as well. So that's what I have for you, Cancer Twin Flames. This is your reading for 2020. If you found that this resonates or if you have any comments about it, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to also um, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. Everything's linked down below. Hope you have an absolutely lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And... Take care. Bye.